Hi everyone, Gabriella here with Kelsey. And we're here with another episode of So What's New. And today we are going to show you a brand new collection that Gabriella jumped at making the quilt for. It's got two <laughs> of my favorite things, dogs and graffiti, spray paint, I mean. And color. And color, <laughs> yeah, everything. So I was just like, Kelsey, I'm making this one. Yep. So we have a demo um, in store for you. We want to show you the fabric. We have kits. But first, we want to tell you a little bit about the designer. Weekday Best is Three Wishes' newest fabric designer. She, her name is Shauna Russell, and she specializes in custom watercolor portraits of people, animals, and pets. Wow, right? Nailed it with this collection. Um, from basset hounds to bulldogs, these colorful portraits will add a touch of happiness to any living space where man's best friend resides. I think this panel, <laughs> I mean, first of all, this panel's huge. And I think that it really yeah. does include yeah. like the all best the dog breeds. It, it's got it's got all of them. I mean, it would, I love it. Me too. So should we get started with the quilt kit? Yeah, let's take a look at the kit. Okay. So this is what the kit looks like when you take it out of the bag. We've got everything you need to make the quilt top and the binding. The binding is from the yellow fabric. So we have this huge panel. I mean, you already saw it, but how cute is that? It's really cute, Gabriella. <laughs> okay, so I you would get... think, I, I to me, I think, wow, anyone with kids would absolutely love this quilt. Yes. <laughs> and so these coordinates you see on all of the squares, we actually substituted where you see in the pattern. Where's the pattern? <laughs> So where you see in the pattern, the bricks, we substituted with this K fabric because we just really liked the way that it went with everything. So that's that border. And then this is some of the squares and the binding. You, you've got white fabric in the, in the middle of a couple of different pieces. And then you have this border that you have to fussy cut. And guess what? I think that's the hardest part of this quilt and it's not even that hard and I have a hack for you. So you're gonna show us how you fussy cut it? Yes, All and right. it's super easy, so let's get to it. Yes. So what I'm about to show you, just so it's more clear, is how to fussy cut the skyline border that you see on the side of the quill and the top and the bottom. You have to fussy cut it in, in a way where the skyline is right in the middle of that four and a half inch strip. And you can use this technique for a lot of different border fabrics that you want to fussy cut to maybe put in a runner or around the border of another quill. It doesn't have to be only for this fabric and this print. It could be any print, any border. You can use this technique. So what I did was I used this quarter inch quilters tape and I pretty much marked on my ruler where I needed to cut. And I'll show you why that is important because I marked here is where the four and a half inch strip is going to be, but I also wanted to mark the middle of that four and a half inch strip and that is two and a quarter. So I'm looking at this line right here where my other pieces of tape are. So I taped on the four and a half and two and a quarter cause that's the middle. And now, since I want this skyline in the middle, I want to put that two and a quarter inch line right on the line of the skyline. So it really is super simple. I left some spots here so that I can see the marks on the ruler um, in the middle of the tape, but pretty much you're just going to line up the two and a quarter inch lines with the middle of the skyline. And then that's how you know that that side of the border is good to go. And then what you have to do is turn it around
and you're lining up the edge of this fabric with your other tape mark. Because you want that four and a quarter inch strip. And as you can see here, the middle of that skyline is right on my two and a quarter line. And that's how I know that that is totally centered. And you do that throughout. Okay, so you've seen the panel and you've seen how you can incorporate it into a quilt. Here is another great idea that Gabriella, Gabriella already said she wants to make as well. Yeah, <laughs> Which, I mean, <laughs> I, I, look, I've got a dog. <laughs> I love my dog. This fabric has dogs on it. Kind of looks like Remy. Yeah, and <laughs> another free quilt pattern. It's, yeah. it's a dog bed. Yes, it's a dog bed. So the dog bed utilizes the panel on the top of it. How cool is that? The finished size is 34 inches by 41 inches by five. So it's pretty big. And you do need a 10 pound box of fiber fill. A lot of filling. <laughs> to fill that up. Um, but the directions are quite simple here. And I just think it's a really neat way to use a panel once again, but also bring color into your house. So there's that. We're gonna make sure the pattern's um, linked. And now and, let's look at this fabric. Yeah, this is a tiny collection. So uh, we'll, we'll go through it fast, but how cool we have spray paint cans um, with dog faces. So they've incorporated all the different breeds again on a brick um, kind of multicolor background. So that's pretty cool. And then also we have some dripping hearts and paint drops on like a black brick background. I so, love that. Yeah. You can use that with any other collection too. Yeah, it color. stands alone. Although these kind of look like tennis balls back there, don't they? <laughs> okay, so tennis fabric. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> this one is really awesome. All of these fabrics, by the way, are utilized in the quilt. You're going to cut little squares and sew them around the panel. Um, While we're talking about the quilt, yeah, the quilt was super easy to make. Okay. I made it in like a night, literally. Um, like I said, the only hard, the hardest thing was fussy cutting the borders and I just showed you how to do that. So, oh, so any skill level could do this confident beginner. I don't even think you have to be a confident beginner. I think you can just go into it. Oh, any skill good. level. So once again, we only have five kits. We already called to try to order Let's more fabric this. and they don't have any more. So if you like this collection, get your kit, it's cut, it's ready for you to start well, subcut and start sewing. Yeah. But, um, oh, look at this one. It's so amazing. <laughs> so this is kind of like a blocked off patchworky um, graffiti, different breeds. You got the love with the paw print. It's perfect. I mean, you can, you can make anything with it. Really, <laughs> it's just wonderful. There's yeah. one more. Oh my gosh, dog bandana. So yeah, cute. dog bandanas. That's perfect. It's so colorful and um, the paw prints are a nice big size there. Embroider the dog's name on top. It's so it's nice. Great collection. Thank you for making this quilt. <laughs>